Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough legendary difficulty with Grandmaster Mode enabled Optilus Prime. Optilum Prime, uh, not related to Optimus Prime, is the target of our mission. And I am trying to get a few more uh, knights. Um, more precisely. Oh, I see. Armory access. That is just part of the mission. So here we could get a just a car. Anyways, I was about to say um, we are trying to get a few more knights into our uh, roster because some of our knights are already level nine, and as such they cannot get any XP anymore and I want to uh, maybe use the current team just to run that one standard uh, team and then I think we're going to switch it up a little bit. L last time we got ourselves a purifier uh, right here. We still need to name them but we got the purifier at least and I want uh, the other two classes. I remember Paladin was one of them but I don't remember what the last class was called so those two have two slots here and then we have literally plus one additional slot for <clears throat> whoever is going to come in maybe another interceptor would be good just to um, use them for leveling there th that class is really um, very strong as a dps class and since we do have a few um, different i would say setups I was thinking about running that the new classes and just seeing how they are working. Maybe getting a second librarian <clears throat> because currently we're focusing completely on teleportation. And I can see that Warp Storm uh, could also be an, an interesting way of playing them. You just don't have a, a, as much mobility. So I suppose this here is reserved for advanced um, or new classes or whatever we would call them and if we look at the remaining class that we then have left over we got a uh, just a car here no wait that guy works together with us we got a purifier who works with the new classes and then we got purchaser just a car and another purchaser so in some way <clears throat> we're going to have a ranged team uh, that is focusing heavily on two purgators. So maybe we can um, work around that and have a little bit fun. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I wish the stasis chamber would be more accessible so that we maybe can merge uh, a couple of the knights together. Uh, what I noticed so far is we're at the, at the point where um, I think we're just doing very well with a strategy that we figured out. Now I want to experiment and just find different strategies, showcase also different ways of playing the game. So this time we want to win without mastercrafted armor. We've already prepared that. Everybody here is wearing a basic suit of armor and we need to destroy, seek and destroy bloom spawn. So that should be relatively easy. Let's get right into it and uh, kill everyone. The prognosticars foretell this cesspit will become a foothold for the Morbus if left unchecked. Every last bloom spawn will need to be hunted and destroyed to hold this foul rot at bay. All right, we're going to do exactly that. So we got a bloom spawn. In that chamber and oh yeah I remember that map that was the one with the needles in the middle or the metal in the middle where you just <coughs> couldn't Queen cross them the yeah not my favorite map Enemies near. Weapons ready. and most certainly not my favorite map my if the enemies are near Go. 
We could teleport in. Question that I'm asking myself is, yeah, we could get that into that new. Yeah, we potentially wouldn't be able to get all the way over there. But that is a problem that future Psyche has to solve for now. Let's give you warp speed. Yes, Commander. And <clears throat> we're moving forward. Very tough opposition. Pray for the end, knights. Arms at the ready. Good, we have no stratagems, so I am here to serve. It's up to us <coughs> to solve Your this orders. problem here. Your command. Let's start. With a couple of innocent bolter shots. The foe bleeds. Your orders. Apothecary. What is your will? I am wondering if we're psy bolting this. Uh, that could crit and take away one of his appendages. Armor break is good. Yeah, we can just deal more stuff. Not that I think it will matter because I don't. I don't think that he will. Uh, that he will really fought over that easily. Instead, we're moving up. There's another hit. And we're down to 50. Fantastic. Good job. Good job, brothers. One. And two. And three. Justice. Fantastic. It's Good. With Guard up. Yep, that, that one we're going to take next turn. For now, extract the seeds. Blue ones we can still take, uh, require a few more. Me. Don't like what I'm seeing. Which is why we're going to move up here. This will disable his autos. So no strike back. Yes, Commander. All right, let's go, baby. Fantastic hit. I like the stun, but it is not going to be enough. Power. 
One. And that will get us uh, three AP back, which brings us nicely into the situation that everybody can move up. We're still in turn number one. Uh, just in case you're wondering. Standing ready. Is we're staying in turn number one. This will trigger. In the darkness we thrive. Prepare to engage. <laughs> we are prepared to engage, don't worry. Really. Oh, so close. What is your will? Unleash me. We could teleport everyone in. <clears throat> Would that be a sensible choice? No, nah, I don't think so. We don't need to teleport everyone in yet. This is good damage. Give me that seat. I claimed a seat. There's another seat over there. Fantastic. Stabilization into more damage. <laughs> I thought we would get a support fire going, but that was incorrect, that assumption. Good, took this guy out. your command. Hmm. <coughs> oh, that was the worst thing. I was still in boulder mode. That was bad psyching. Holy shit. quite a bit of turns here.
We got... Hmm, we got enough in order to actually give him three war, uh, three extra points. Might as well do that. We're okay on our willpower at this point. still have this issue here um, we could go with it I suppose The other alternative uh, is to do this into this. Sure, why not? One down and... Yes, Commander. This allows us to recuperate a will uh, point. There we go. Back to five. That's fantastic. And I don't want any melee damage. Not yet. Good, we can't get all of them down, which is a bit disappointing. Yeah, didn't really work in our favor. I could have fully teleported in. And it would have likely been the better choice. But okay, we saved some will points on our librarian. Regaining a will point with our warp search here. But that should trigger support fire. There we go. Yes, let your wounds fester. This is your wrath. Down to I am here to serve. sixteen. We are continuing to just Take this thing out. What's our crit chance? Forty percent is not too bad, but I will defile your corpse. Could be better. I am here to serve. We're buying ourselves another round with a Halo skull, and this time we're focusing on this guy down here. All right, Apothecary moves in.
Not sure why we couldn't hit him from there. The line of sight should have been free. Yes, Commander. What is your will? Hmm. All right, moving up here. I still need to use Psybolt in order to prevent his melee attacks. Very good. Down to 13. Your command. Um, almost dead. He's down to near nothing. Which brings us to a use of our warp ability <laughs> that uh, get, gets us back to 10 and we need to take care of these guys nothing to extract give us a bonus bonus attack <clears throat> guys you positioned yourself very unfortunate there I can tell you that was not clever. Good, you're down to 10 will points. 16. What is your will? 3. Alright, we need kills here. Firing now. Reload. Yes, Commander. Instant. My focus fails me. This command. By the way, go and heal yourself. My wrath is restored, brother. Standing ready. So this guy still is a bit of a problem. Simply due to his, uh, the amount of his hit points. But we should be fine. Good, he's almost down. down. Fourteen. Down to nine. I must sanctify my run. Yes, Commander. Down to six. Down. 
And we need to give the interceptor the kill. Another battle ends in triumph. Willpower. Willpower gained. <clears throat> That's another seed and another willpower. Good, we're back at two willpower, which is good enough, I suppose. And since we're not in a hurry, might as well take our sweet time. We got two more teleportations if needed. Or whatever else we feel comfortable spending the points in. Yeah. Moving swiftly. What is your will? Good. The moment that we sense enemy forces, uh, I will start to buff again. But for now, there's really nothing here. point drain just when we did not uh, need it which means I think we're down to no it's just max will points cool which means current will points are unaffected Unleash me. currently couldn't yes, care less about max will points what is your will? Good, we're moving up. We have definitely enough to take on that last challenge. And it seems we will need to fight one more pack. Okay, that's a good time. Since we're going to be teleported in, that's a good time to get warp speed and biomancy. Um, yeah, we don't need to purify anyone. Standing ready. All right, there we go. Oh, look at you, a big fat dreadnought. Seats. I pulled a seat from the rocks. Good, he does have the stupid charge ability, right? When hit, charges to attacker grabs them and holds them until next turn. At your service. There you go. Does that count as a hit? No. But both of them are enraged. Uh, enraged.
Uh, let me see. Precision targets. That wouldn't really help us. You know what? Let's go. Okay, you're not grabbing me? Fair enough. break we're going to go with that extra stun just in case we're critting often enough there's a slight chance that we can execute them yes commander we have a yeah weapons ready Ready to serve. My blade is ever ready. Good hit. hit even further it's almost dead range weapon goes two Three. I am the wrath of Xiphos. And now Enemy this guy destroyed. will explode next turn, which whatever. Sure about that, buddy. First of all, you it's hilarious that you call us manners. I must refocus, Commander. What do we have here? Secondly, uh, we beat every other mission so far, so I'm not hundred percent sure what you're talking about, my dude. Give me that seat. <clears throat> Lovely. Thank you. Another seed. And there is yet another seed. Okay, cool. Uh, potentially more seats, but we're going to find out in a bit. Yeah. For starters. This is too far, so we're moving to here. And we're 
hitting that tree. Ignore the wounds. And we're hitting it good. Apparently no support fire for whatever reason. Still continuing to shoot this guy. Couple of good hits, I like it. The enemy is wounded. Yeah. Crit into kill range, I like that. But since yes, the next strike is a kill, I have to wonder, could I... still get the seed? The answer is yes, if I'm willing to take a bit of damage. You have been judged. Nice. Good victory. Good. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is a strong team composition. Specifically, the teleportation is uber strong got 20 seats that's fantastic what do we have here 50% uh, focus wow that is good there you go uh, what else we did we would have doom's end uh, so this is a 14 17 range weapon for armor and target suffers two damage at the end of its turn yeah, it's a bleed weapon i'm not the biggest fan of bleed weapons it's a good weapon but um it it put all of its improvements into 100% bleed chance and that I'm not the biggest fan of but this here is cool 50% focus that also means something like uh, the extra will points from the librarian trigger more often well it's not bad you can find an armor with an extra armor slot well, then that would be awesome 50 percent focus also means the classes that do have a lot of auto uh, stuff are actually quite uh, quite uh, beneficially receive uh, receiving quite a bit of uh, benefit from that uh, we could go for four additional uh, will points, which is a strong proposition if you think about it. Extra damage here. And I'm wondering, I mean... 
this here isn't bad we're okay with the will points so far of course you can always have always have more like there is no limit to that but uh, the Aegis shield upgrades are fine and I wanted to, so far I'm still waiting for the first time that uh, render um, the unclean is going to work so far it has not but we have not been overrun by a horde of small goblins so far good we're going to go more damage on that support fire because that was absolutely ridiculously good and then we're upgrading the melee weapon A little bit more willpower certainly would go a long way, but he's already level 6, this is 7, 8, 9, we need to save all of the points now. Yeah, good stuff, very good stuff. So as I was saying, I'm just uh, thinking about that new ch uh, shard that we've gotten, because it of course rivals 6 will points. Uh, which by itself is very very good but hear me out um, that would increase the teleportation ch uh, chance to regain APs to a hundred percent down here it would increase this here massively which means it's a once per turn um, we only need something that increases it to twice per turn and then effectively whenever we're doing something um, it regains um, and a will, will point twice even per round. And with Smite together, that's a, that's an ultra strong uh, ability. Uh, then what else do we have here? Return fire, fear. That also would be nice. I mean, at the end of the turn, this knight has a chance to activate the Aegis Shield. They already have that uh, over there, but that's not bad. I mean, the shard itself, I could see that it has um, that it has its uses, uh, specifically with price of power. But I need a diff uh, an additional slot here. Elsewise, it's likely not going to work out. This is not, can no longer be reached in time. Might as well fly back here. We've done a good job. Save the planet uh, from getting overrun by balloon. I don't want to lose a planet and I don't want to call in an exterminators. We now have mass purification, which is a new stratagem. All knights purify and heal for two. But we also had this here, purify and 100% resistance, which I think is the better stratagem. Then we can either do this or more stratagem use. I think we're starting with one more stratagem slot and then we're going for more stratagem uses. Ship has three servitors and I don't have a lot to do. Gun batteries are restored, which is cool. Uh, great. And our hull integrity is also fine, so we're good, but the we don't have enough servitors and there is new bloom activity. Ecto 
Tar. Your alert has disrupted my essential meditations. We have important tidings. I can already sense Nurgle's corruption. There is something foul at work. There. Curious. We have only just had word from Grandmaster Kai. The prognosticars on Titan have augured the advent of a dire omen in that very system. They spoke of a black edifice, a vortex of foul malevolence. Preliminary estimation, not to its crown. The Eldari Avatar warned me of this. Five charred gates in a putrid orchard. Then the Morbus will come. The Xenos are not to be trusted. The enemy of my enemy, Ektar. I detected no malefic intentions. We should not forget that the Plague God despoiled their home. Commander, let us be clear. If we do not investigate this threat, the consequences will be dire. Ooh. Okay. Where do, uh, where... The bloom has spread to a critical stage of corruption. If we do not stop it now, it will advance the Morbus. If we fail five flowering missions, the Morbus will come, and this sector will be doomed. Okay, but how, how did that happen to begin with? We did not uh, let it uh, push to five. Twenty servitors, that's great. And the massive reduction in corruption, that's good as well. And up here, oh, this one blooms to five as well. Okay, things are not looking that sexy anymore. Hmm. Sure, I mean, I don't want uh, a more of a skate. Win a mission without using passive war gear, and we got Vakir on this mission again. Yeah, we're not going to go for that extra glorious deed here. I like my passive war gear. I think it's good. And we're going to do, we're going to get 20 servitors. Um, a chaplain, ooh. A chaplain rank three, uh, that'll cost us one, which is the one that we're getting. Level three grenades. Sheet. Yeah, <laughs> it's nothing that I can do about it. Well, maybe, uh, maybe a later at a later stage we're going to get better armory access. For now. She's going to be with us yet again. We're finally having again better armor here. Um, that makes willpower. I think that is helpful. Because 14 willpower is crazy. Can't upgrade that any further. Good for you, my friend. We're taking this one here. I think that small upgrade is okay. There you go, you got one more will point. I 
our librarian. You're taking... You're taking uh, the armor with uh, ignoring of ranged penalties. I like that. Unfortunately, we can't upgrade anything. Good, rest is upgraded, which brings us to Nikki Zero, who does get uh, Terminator armor. Five armor is nice. Yeah, we're taking the five armor version. I tell you what. Let's give him the higher amount of will points. And you're taking five armor. You still, you already have so uh, so much willpower. Good. In terms of stratagems, teleportation, strength of spirit, Quicksilver isn't bad, but we now also have domination and mass purification. So domination is a, is a given. That's a given. Uh, the teleportation this one isn't bad either I mean just plain three armor for five turns is absolutely fantastic Because I assume that we're going to need to fight a little bit longer time. Sure, we do have teleportation, but dominate we don't have. Uh, Strength of Spirit is just too good to not take it. And five turns of uh, three armor. Mm. Sounds like a good, uh, uh, good idea to me. But all of this will happen the next time. Uh, for now, we're saying thank you and goodbye, and we're seeing each other in the next episode. Uh, in the meantime, uh, click that like button, because I think if you don't do it, another gate of Morbius will open. Take care. Bye-bye.